In this demonstration, we'll walk through how to utilize the KPA EHS mobile app. So you will get a welcome email just like this one shown with your login credentials as well as a link to download the app via the App Store for iOS users or the Google Play Store for Android users. So the first thing you'll want to do is go to your Play Store to be able to search for KPA EHS if you don't use that welcome email to download the app. Once you search for this, click the install button. As a note, you will want a strong internet connection for the first time downloading the app because the forms are fillable offline and then automatically upload in the background when you get connectivity again. You also want to allow access to photos so you can take photos from your device while you're completing forms. And it's going to ask you to continue on the notifications. And then here's where you'll type in your login information. Now I'm going to ask you to confirm the notification, so you just click continue. And then you should be logged into your site. Occasionally it will ask for the subdomain name. If you need that information, that will be in the welcome email for you. The first option here is the open task list. Um, the idea being keep your open task list clear. Um, you will want to ensure that you're using your location while you're using the app. Um, and then you shouldn't have to enable that the next time you log in. Here's where the training assigned to you comes populated as well as any equipment inspections or any follow-ups assigned through forms that are assigned to you. Um, so you just click into the task to complete it and then it removes from your open task list from there. The next section is my profile. This shows your QR code, which could be scanned by other users in the site, and they can also access your training information and see a copy of that certificate right here on the app. The form section allows you to complete forms for your company. You need to fill out if it's a near-miss report. You can just click the boxes and fill in the information as needed. Scroll down to the bottom and make sure you click Submit after submitting all the details. The next section is the complete training section. This is for any of those go-getters who want to complete any training topics that aren't assigned to them. Typically the topics that are assigned to you will come in that open task section, um, but for any of the additional trainings you want to complete, you can access them in the complete training section. The resources section will house your company documents, policies and procedures, manuals, things like that. Um, so you can click on these and access these documents at any time straight from your device. The website mode does allow you to go and pull any of those reports that have been submitted um, from the device. You can pull open the menu here and toggle into the form section and you'll see you have more options to do different things and just gives you that website mode view. The QR code scanner again allows you to uh, scan an asset such as a piece of equipment and pull up that piece of equipment's profile and or an employee information and show you right here an inspection to go ahead and complete that inspection, submit the report, and complete the inspection for that piece of equipment. The alert settings allows you to just confirm that they are on. Once you submit a form on your device, now you're going to see the option for your recent reports. This is where you can just confirm once you're offline, when you get connectivity again, that they have been uploaded in the background. Of course, reach out to support at kpaehs.com if you have any questions.